I can do anything. I can run in the morning, exercise, work with fighters all day. Boxers are in the best shape of any athlete. There's no question about that. I was adopted when I was like three months old, and uh, my father was the owner of Dr. Scholl's Shoes. So coming up, I had a lot of money, but I just always been on the street and hung out with thugs and older dudes, and just always been in trouble. I've been in trouble since I've been 11 years old. Some professional in 1980, and I got my thumb ripped off my hand. I was strung out on morphine and uh, Demerol. I was strung out on heroin and cocaine for like 16 years. On March 26, next month, I'll be clean and sober 19 years. And also, as you can't tell, as good looking as I am, I'm 50 years old. <laughs> I believe you got to put out 150 percent to be a good trainer. He's working these programs now, where he trains and counsels kids. I like to help out addicts and uh, people that are less fortunate, mainly a lot of kids. Since I met Jerry. Basically, boxing's kept me off the streets, kept me from messing around, kept me out of trouble with the police, kept me off drugs. I have a, a strong addiction to drugs. My trainer, Jerry, I've known him since I was six. He's always supportive of me. I always liked to fight, and I would get into a little trouble fighting at school, and my uncle introduced me to Jerry, and I've been boxing ever since then. Through boxing, he tries to instill in them self-worth. I've been doing good in school. Confidence. About to start college here in July, I owe to Jerry right now. I believe that they can do something better with themselves, no matter what traumas they've been through. My biological father, I never met him. My father passed away when I was three years old. He didn't know so much about boxing. He knows more, way more than the average trainer. He brings a lot of other things to the table, you know what I mean? In my personal life, you know what I mean? He, he's a good dude to talk to. He know a lot about life. He's been, he's been down there, you know what I mean? He's been at the bottom. Because of Jerry Rosenberg, I am the way I am today. And I am an advocate a thousand percent that if you box and you stay sober and clean, you will always be able to make it to the top. I'm so passionate about boxing because that's the only thing in life I ever got disciplined from. I've been to penitentiary, I've been to jail millions of times. Hey, hey man, this motherfucker straight out of Nap Town, you know what I'm saying? Straight out the ISP, that's the Indiana State Penitentiary. I've been to institutions, I've done it all, but the only, only discipline, the only thing that kept me clean and sober was uh, through boxing. It, it does everything, that's the whole deal. Without boxing, I'd be done. I can keep the demons at bay. I can be your friend, or I can whoop you. <laughs>